Another fun topic, will Hytel be safe for kids? Well, that's a good question, so let's discuss this, okay? Well, I'm actually going to read a quote from the Hytel website, and I think you'll find this very interesting. So, will Hytel be safe for kids? Let's read this. Smart parental controls. Introduce younger players to the game thanks to a comprehensive set of optional tools that will allow parents to control access to online play and custom content. Now this is interesting because it looks like Hytel is going to build in controls for parents to use to protect their children if they want to play the game. Isn't that pretty cool? Uh, speaking of the game, uh, what's the sort of the market for age of people of Hytel? Uh, I would say that it's a very broad market. And so I don't think Hytel at all will be directed to kids. In fact, it's going to be more grown up, as I can say, than just Minecraft. Not that it's like got more mature content or it's dirty or anything. Not at all. Uh, just that it might be a little bit more complicated, more difficult, a higher learning curve, which might make it seem more appealing to an older audience. But really to discuss this as far as will this be for kids as well? Oh yeah, I think Hytel will be for younger kids too. And I think because it's going to be so broad that it's going to have room for a very diverse range of ages playing Hytel. Uh, and, but it's kind of a cool thing looking at it and realizing that they're wanting to make sure that this game is going to be appropriate for kids. And that the parents, if they want their kids to play this game, that they will have the controls to protect their kids and make it so they can do certain things or not do certain things, right? You know, suppose they don't want them to go online and meet random people who might swear or something like that. Then you can put those controls in, parents, huh? And make sure your kids are safe. But I really like the last two words where they say custom content. So it sounds like that they will have the ability to either, you know, allow or block certain things from being allowed in the game. Uh, those things could be, well, crude things maybe? Uh... I know one of the things that I think I saw in Minecraft is the ability to use manure is kind of like compost or whatever for, you know, planting your crops. Parents might think that is kind of crude. To be honest, I kind of do too, because I'm weird, I guess. <laughs> but, you know, the whole point is that it sounds like parents might be able to block something like that. Now, how that will happen, I don't know, because <clears throat> since Hytel is going to be so big, there's going to be so many things in it, the only thing I can think of is instead of having the which, this might be true, they might have the option to block every individual thing if they really want to go through that, but I think it's going to be more like an options in the menu, uh, and maybe you have to have, like, a password. Not like your account password, necessarily, but just a password or a pin that only the parents know to go in and adjust this, and it's like a menu checkbox, and you select it, and then suddenly this array of content is no longer available in Hytel. Of course, that's just the default game. When it comes to modding, that's going to be a different thing. But uh, honestly, if the kids have or the parents have control over it, I'm sure they can block it. And who knows, maybe those options might be uh, the option to block modding so that kids can't go and mod their game with whatever. Uh, this is really pretty cool, you know, that I think parents will feel safe with Hytel. And I think that is a very wise move by Hytel. Uh, because it's going to open their market to a wider range of people and ages, as we already discussed, that can jump on the bandwagon for this game. I, I know Minecraft has certain controls here and there, but certainly I have never seen like options that you can check as a parent and enter in a pin that only they know and that the kids don't, which can make it safe, you know. Minecraft doesn't have anything like that. I wonder if Hytel will. We'll find out for sure when it comes out. We'll see just exactly how those parental controls work. Um, but it's kind of cool that it's going to be safe for kids, it looks like. And again, rever you know, looking at Hytel, is it a kid's game? I know, like, with COPPA and things like that, especially when people on YouTube want to make Hytel games. Yeah, Hytel won't fall under COPPA. I mean, obviously, if you're making that content and it's very obvious that you're directing it at children, you know, then, yeah, you're going to have to comply with COPPA, absolutely. But, I, no, this game is not going to be directed at kids. It's just going to be made appropriate so that parents can decide. You know, so the power is in the parents' hand, you know. That's pretty cool. Well, yeah, so there you have it. Now you know that, in my personal opinion, Hytel will definitely be safe for kids. Oh, good, good discussion, right? Well, if you want to stick around, here's some other videos to choose from.